Welcome to this UK drug testing and value med presentation for the new MDMA or ecstasy powder or surface wipe test. This is the standard foil that you'll be um, given when you order this test, all test branding. On the reverse you will see uh, MDMA 500 nanogram which is the uh, cutoff sensitivity surface test panel. It also has its code, the lot number and the expiry date on the outer side of the foil. Inside the foil you'll be presented with one of these test cassettes with a prong. It has the MDMA coding in the uh, window here showing that this screen is for ecstasy MDMA. To run the test remove the cover and this is the drug test cover and what is revealed is this prong. Now to use this as a surface wipe test all you have to do is wipe the prong across the surface that you're looking to screen. We've got a very small amount of powder residue here that if you are looking to screen a powder or a contaminated area where you think ecstasy may have been used, you want to wipe this through as much of the powder residue as you can for about five to 10 seconds. Now, if you're looking to sass the tablet, and we've got a small element of a tablet here, the thing to do is crush it. The easiest way to do this is with a couple of teaspoons to form as fine a powder as you possibly can. And once you're happy with that and you've crushed the uh, tablet that you're wanting to test, again, if you just wipe the prong through the powder to build up a deposit of the powder on the test prong, that should be sufficient. Now, when you're ready to run the test, you can either fill the cap with cold tap water or you can just dip the panel prong directly into cold water. And that's the, what I'm going to do here. Just dip it to below the level of the panel itself. It gives an indicator on that uh, test. And you need to leave it in the liquid if you're gonna dip it for probably between five to 10 seconds. And you can see that pink dye is starting to run up in the results window here, indicating that it's absorbing that fluid. Now I'm gonna take it out of the fluid and put the cap back on and then lay it flat on a non-absorbent surface and you need to start a timer now for 10 minutes and then you will read the results showing in that results window at 10 minutes. So I'm going to pause the video now and restart filming when 10 minutes have elapsed. Now when 10 minutes are up it's time to read the test. You should have a nice clear whitish background and then in the results window you're looking for the presence of a control line to indicate that sufficient liquid has run through the test membrane. And then the results are interpreted by the presence or absence of a test line. Now you can see here there is a clear test line in the presence of a control line indicating this is a negative result. That means that no ecstasy has been detected in the powder or tablet that we run this test on. A positive test result would be indicated by the presence of a strong control line with a complete absence of any test line. No discernible test line at the 10 minute read time would determine that ecstasy MDMA had been uh, detected at above 500 nanograms in the sample that you've screened. So that's very easy and uh, clear interpretation. There are example positive and negative results shown on the actual test panel. And that's all there is to screening an environment or powder or tablet for the presence of ecstasy. Thanks for watching.